Today I'm going to teach you a delicious recipe. It only has five ingredients. It takes about 30 minutes and it tastes delicious. Now I love Rubens. Um, I think you guys kind of got that from the Reuben wontons I made uh, probably about a month or so ago. But this is a Reuben casserole. So it puts all the wonderful, delicious ingredients of a Reuben together in one big old dish. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, we're going to start this off all nice like here. Get yourself some sauerkraut. You're going to want to make sure the sauerkraut's pretty dry for this. Um, just because when you're doing your casserole, you don't want it like soaking wet or else it's going to cause all kinds of issues. And you go ahead and put thousand island dressing in. I'm not really going to, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. Just want a few cups of it. Don't mind me. All right, then I forgot to get my spoon. Or so anything doesn't really matter. You don't really need a spoon. I don't need a spoon to mix it up. Get it all mixed together. I love Thousand Island dressing. I love sauerkraut, so I'm probably gonna add more Thousand Island dressing to this. I actually got like a whole bag of sauerkraut. If you're gonna use cans, it probably take a few cans. Um, I'm gonna be using a big cake dish too. Um, instead of a normal casserole dish, because I'm making a whole bunch. But once you, once you get that all mixed up, I'm gonna scoot off the side here, get your pan, make sure it's nice and greased up. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that little mixture into here. Try as much as I can out of there, because I want this, I want it all. I want it all. Just throw that in the sink. Save my spoon. Go ahead and, oops, my ovens are nice and preheated. I'm preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what that beeping was. There we go. See, one bag of the sauerkraut I was able to cover the whole bottom of this. Then you can go ahead and get, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in, but you get the corned beef. I was going to use that canned corned beef I used for my corned beef, or uh, my Reuben wontons, but I figured it would take forever for me to spread that out, so I actually got the sliced up corned beef. I wouldn't recommend sli uh, sliced corned beef if, you, um, if you're trying to go on a budget here because it gets kind of expensive. That can's only a few dollars, and a couple cans would probably cover something this size. I just didn't want to sit there and fight with it. I'm going to put a couple layers on here. So I like having my Rubens nice and stacked. Then go ahead and lay it out. I'll do a couple more on here and then I'll be done with that. So I got about a pound of corned beef and I still have a, probably a half a pound of been plenty to cover this whole thing. And then go ahead and top it with shredded Swiss cheese. Get nice and spread out there. Get so you get nice gob of Swiss of Swiss cheese in every bite. You know the good stuff. And then you can get this rye bread. I got the fancy with the swirls in it. It's like a rye pumpernickel one. Um, regular rye bread would be just fine. Any kind of bread really would work. You're gonna want to put butter on one side and place it butter side up and cover the whole thing. Now I'm gonna. It's gonna take me a while to butter each piece and put it on here. I just did one piece just to make it quicker to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to cover the rest of this thing in buttered up uh, rye bread. Then I'm going to throw it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, just keep an eye on it. You want to make sure you don't burn the bread and everything on top. But 30 minutes tops and it'll be ready to go. And I'll come back to you when mine is ready. All right, and here we go. I pulled mine out of the oven. It took I was about 26 minutes, but I was starting to notice that the Stuff was boiling a lot and the bread was getting nice and toasty. But look at that. Look at that. You can see the cheese all melted in there, nice yumminess. Now what I'm gonna do is use my handy dandy spatula. Try to get a nice cut on this so I can put it on the plate. I'm gonna kinda get down the get down the middle of here, cut a piece of bread in half here. I'm gonna try to get what I can out. I always struggle with trying to figure out if I wanna use a spoon or a spatula. I think I'd use a spatula for this. I don't wanna cooperate. All right. 
I'll get both. I'll get both halves of it then. And then it's be nice and cut up, looking nice and yummy. With the corned beef wants to cooperate. See, I got nice yumminess. See, not very watery because I made sure I dried my sauerkraut off real good. Um, if you don't have some dry sauerkraut, it's gonna be all kind of runny and it's gonna, it's still gonna taste good, but it's gonna make a mess. And there you go, some nice, yummy Reuben casserole. Enjoy. And there you have it. See, nice, simple, took 30 minutes from prep to finish in about 35 minutes. Easy peasy, only a few ingredients. If you like this recipe, please put in the comments down below that you liked it so I know if people like it or not. Um, if you have any tips or anything you'd put in, uh, change anything, like ingredients otherwise, go ahead and put that in the comments down below. And don't forget to look down in my description. I have links to all my social medias, like Twitter, Facebook, um, all, that, all that good stuff. Um, I even have a little thing for a um, little merch store, I guess. Um, when my daughter drew up some some designs, I put them on t-shirts and stuff. Uh, any shirts and stuff that get bought up will go to like college funds for my kids and whatnot. Um, so feel free to check that out down below. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and little bell doohickey so you know when I post more videos. Well, I'll see you around.